in front of the Padron Cigar Factory. Ooh, I can already taste them. Mm -hmm. We're in Little Habana. We're gonna go inside and check this thing out and see what's happening with the Padrones. Follow me. I'm in heaven. We are inside the Padron greeting room. Look at this bar behind it. Most bars, you got bottles of liquor. This has got cigars, all Padron cigars. Thank you for coming in today. Well, thank you for your time. We really appreciate making a time for us. Just yeah, we're, we're going you. crazy here today. We got a lot. We have a container of cigars coming in, and we have a lot of meetings set up during the day. But uh, you know, Caesar told me you were coming in. I said, just you know, come in and say hello. You know, it's a family business. We don't have a lot of people here to do a lot of different things, so we end up doing a lot of the work ourselves. But, yeah. uh, well, that's, that's at least we get to smoke cigars. Look at it. You know, there's different ways to look at this business. Some people look at it as a volume business to sell a lot of cigars. Other people, you know, don't necessarily rely on volume. They rely on quality. Uh, so, you know, I guess the person that is going to get into the cigar, cigar business, the first thing they have to decide is what type of business they want to be in. Um, Do they so want to be quality or not that, not that Not that the people who produce volume don't produce quality, but it's a different type of cigar. Like the type of, types of cigars that we make, you know, we make five and a half million cigars a year. You know, we're focused on one thing. And if next year we can only make five million, we only make five million. It's not like we're, you know, we're not looking at numbers saying, oh, next year you have to go up, uh, you know, 20% or 10% right. uh, in order to consider it a successful year. Crazy. Listen, it's a combination of things. It's not just being able to make them. It's it's being able and having the the, um, you know, the, the consistent philosophy of saying of knowing when to pull back mm -hmm. when you have to because you know that you may not be able to produce at the same level that you have been producing and you mm -hmm. say, you know what, you know, maybe instead of making, I don't know, 10,000 of these cigars, maybe we only make 6,000, you know? Mm -hmm. And that's that requires a lot of commitment. You know? How's your father? My father's doing very well. He's 85 doing, years old. He's 85, he's doing great, you know, he's, uh, you know, he's healthy, he's smoking cigars. Right. He's doing good. My dad is, uh, he's just a, you know, regular guy. Salt of the earth type of guy. That's what he. That's who he is. You know, he doesn't get caught up in all this bullshit. Yeah. You know, he 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 knows exactly who he is, and he knows you know where he came from. He doesn't forget, and he he hasn't changed. I mean, the success that he's had over the years has not changed mm -hmm. the type of person that he is. So you know, normally like all those work shelves are full of cigars, and we're just. I mean, we get cigars in here and we we go through them. So when a shipment comes in, how long will it take you to fill all these boxes and get them ready to ship? Uh, it takes me a day. One day? I mean, not all of them. Like, these are all full. These, are, these full. are ready to go. These are ready to go, but but the problem is that, you know, when we're missing, like, I have, I sell maybe 45 different items. And out of those 45, I may be out of about 25. So some I'm okay on in inventory levels, but the other 25 I'm not, so... You know, I'd rather hold the order back a, a day or two until I get my shipment in and be able to ship a complete order yes. as opposed to shipping a partial and then... So that's the game that we're playing now. That's a beautiful thing right there. So you got dedicated workers, loyalty. Oh, yeah, yeah. And you make your own boxes here. Now, the, is the no, wood no. done in uh, No, 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 the boxes are made in Nicaragua. Okay. We just get them shipped in. These are boxes that I have in inventory here. Okay. Right now I have boxes and I don't have cigars. No cigars. <laughs> so. Empty boxes. That's not right. That's my mother. Mommy, mira. Oh, it's wonderful to meet you. Alan Fonsei. My wife, Beth. Are, <laughs> we are uh, Padron junkies. Oh. Le encanta los tabacos padrón. My favorite cigar. Uh, I've smoked hundreds and hundreds of these. And my favorite's the, the 45 and the 64 anniversary. And we really appreciate your family uh, and what they've done for the cigar industry. Pleasure to meet you. All right. Well, I don't take any more of your time. It's a pleasure. First, thank you very you. much. All it's right, a thank pleasure you for to meet you. By. I'm very grateful for your time. I know you're a very busy man. 
the doc here, the doc, the docs at home, the Don here with Cigar Federation, with uh, George Padron in the Padron factory in Little Havana, Miami, Florida. <laughs>